Approximately 250 people attended a forum about drugs at the Izzo Mariucci Center at Iron Mountain High School Thursday evening. It was standing room only as the group of parents, teachers, students, and concerned residents heard from law enforcement, the medical community, public health, and addiction specialists. They came to be educated and to get questions answered about the types of drugs that are posing a risk to young people in Dickinson County. Also smoke shops, as you have here. Um, uh, head shops, I will call them, basically, in, in those counties. I mean, I, we all know we all know where they're at. We all, we all know where they are. But that's who's selling them. That's who's getting them. Um, and I, I'll tell you how they're getting them. Um, are they selling them here in town? I, I, I don't know if they are anymore. I think they were. Um, you guys have seen basalts here, and I don't know what... I don't know what you guys have been buying locally. Most most of it's over the internet. They're getting it, yeah. Yeah. Anybody anybody can order it. You can find this stuff on a computer and order it because, um, for example, that's where we're finding it. It's being shipped through commercial. It's being shipped through FedEx. It's being shipped through UPS and the U.S. Postal Service. Um, so what they do is they order it, and it gets sent to your house. Now, there's a lot of people selling this stuff out of their house. There's people ordering boxes of it, getting it delivered to their house, and then now you have the uh, proverbial train of cars coming to the house to buy it. Um, we've had as much on the bottom here, as much as $3,500 on a COD delivery. Now, I, I haven't seen a COD delivery since I was a kid and ordered a record off TV, but um, <laughs> kids don't know what records are. But. <laughs> so FedEx delivers a package to a house and they drop the package off and the people um, count out $3,500 and give it to the driver and they get their bath